Hey guys, so today we'll be talking about clipping, so that conversation is coming up. First, let me tell you about my system. So I have QCell 400 watt panels and I have Enphase microinverters, the IQ7 Plus, which has a max wattage rating of 295 watts and a constant uh, wattage rating of 290. So as you can kind of see, uh, 290 is a lot smaller than 400 watts. So what that means is there's a chance that I may not be maximizing my panel output for a portion of the day. Is it necessarily a bad thing? Not at all. So I'll explain a little bit more on that later. So let me show you what clipping is. So this is one of the days uh, for my production. As you see kind of right in the middle of the day here, the system kind of gets capped at 3.9 kilowatt. And so basically I have a 5.2 kilowatt system. And so it gets capped or what it's called as clipping at 3.9 because I have uh, panels on two different sides of the roof. And so I'm never gonna hit 5.2, it's impossible uh, just because of the angle of the sun and the two you know, sides of the roof. And so basically in the middle of the day here, it's capped at 3.9, and again, that's called clipping. So that's basically what clipping is. It's basically where your inverters are maxed out during that time of the day, so it's usually in the middle of the day, and they are you know, converting as much energy as possible. Some people think that this is actually a bad thing, and they'll actually pay extra money to have bigger inverters on their system. That way it captures all of the energy that the panels are producing during the day. So basically what that looks like is it looks like a perfect bell curve. So this picture here where basically it doesn't cap at the top, like in the middle of the day, it basically just goes up and then it goes down. So in reality, yes, they are capturing all of their converted energy, but it's at a cost of the more expensive inverters that they're putting on their roof. And of course it depends on your system size, but as a general rule of thumb, that extra cost to capture all the sun's rays is probably gonna cost you more in the long run than just saving a little bit of money and letting the system clip a bit. Clipping is an actual technique, and so if your installer knows what they're doing, they'll actually let the system clip because it's a benefit to you. Uh, you know, it's always a balance between cost and performance, and so it's gonna cost you less in the long run if you do let the system clip a little bit, if the installer does it correctly. Another point I wanna bring up is just because you're clipping, it doesn't mean that you're actually losing out on production. So if you were to search on YouTube or the internet, you can actually see examples where if you were to compare two systems apples to apples, um, and one system had bigger inverters and the other system was clipping, you can actually see that basically the system that's clipping is actually producing more energy. So here's how that happens. Basically the inverters have a power band and they operate more efficiently when they're in that upper part of the power band, i.e. when they are clipping or getting close to clipping. So if you were to buy bigger inverters, they won't be operating in that power band or that sweet spot as often, which means that they'll shut off earlier and turn on later and then you'll be losing production because the inverters are not operating efficiently, essentially. This also means that on the sides of the bell curve on your system that clips, so like this area here and this area here, uh, basically what happens is they'll be operating or, or maxing out for a longer portion of the day, and that means that they'll, produ they'll be producing more energy on the sides of the bell curve because they are operating optimally, optimally for a longer period of time. And that's how you produce more energy with a system that's clipping rather than a system that has bigger inverters in that perfect bell curve. And it's because the inverters are running more optimally for a longer period of the day. So that's what clipping is. So I hope the video was helpful in explaining how clipping happens and why it's necessarily not a bad thing. Leave your comments in the comment section below if you have any, and thanks for watching.